In this tutorial, I will tell you about project settings. You can manage project settings in every project you have. To open them, click on the gear button at the top right corner. Here you can change the project name. Then you see the current working week of your project. In the calendar, you can change working hours and days, as well as add exceptions, days off, holidays, shortened work days, etc. I give more detail on how to use Project Calendar in my other tutorial. Below, you will find toggle buttons. Auto scheduling automatically recalculates durations, start dates, and due dates when you add task dependencies. Week starts on Monday. It means that all your calendars will start on Monday. If to switch this function off, weeks will start on Sunday. Today marker. It is a red line that shows the current day. Critical path shows in the red color what tasks directly impact on project fulfillment in a timely manner. Then goes duration step. That defines how the time will be counted in your project. You can also choose the view mode. That defines the font size in your project. I like the compact one. Then goes progress that is calculated on the basis of two principles, duration or average. As an illustration, let's take and extend task two. In Group A, we have five tasks. Four of them last one day each and one lasts two days. In Task 2, I set the progress at the value of 100%. Now, we deal with the progress based on the duration value. In our Group A, Parent task, the progress equals 33%. Let's change the setting for average. I open Group A again. Now, the progress equals 20% as only one out of five tasks is completed. Go back to the project settings. At the end of them, there is the used counter that shows how much of the storage space you use. If you need to delete your project, click on the button with the three dots at the top right corner and choose Delete Project. And now, that's it! Which project settings do you use more often? Leave your comments below and plan your projects with Gantt Pro.